Hey, welcome back. We're in Daniel chapter 5, and we are in the middle of a drinking party here in Daniel chapter 5. Belshazzar, this pagan king, uh, he's probably a little bit inebriated, but he's about to get a wake-up call because they've brought in the gold and silver instruments from the temple of God in Jerusalem, the one true God, and Belshazzar knows exactly what he's doing, and he's mocking the one true God. As he's doing this, verse 5, suddenly they saw the fingers of a human hand writing on the plaster wall of the king's palace near the lampstand. The king himself saw the hand as it wrote, verse 6, and his face turned pale with fright, his knees knocked together in fear, and his legs gave way beneath him. Uh, this, he's incredibly panicked. <laughs> he's paying attention now all of a sudden. And uh, he's going to call for everyone to come and interpret this. None of his wise people can. And Daniel, who's been retired and probably for 40 years or so hasn't been into the palace, is going to get called out of retirement to come and interpret this message. We'll pick up there tomorrow. But here's the point. We were reminded yesterday, when God has given you revelation, don't choose to disobey him. Don't make him show up and kind of defend his name because God's going to defend his name. It's not going to end well for Belshazzar. God's going to end up being glorified in the end. And God is going to sustain Daniel and use Daniel in the midst of all this. He wants to sustain you and use you today in the midst of everything going on in the world. I'll see you tomorrow.